Condition monitoring can better inform your maintenance decisions by analyzing data from various sources to form a view of asset condition. With that information, we can perform maintenance when and where it's needed. This demonstration shows how your existing OSI Soft Pi system, combined with GTS products, provides everything you need to implement a fully integrated condition-based maintenance framework. We're going to use cathodic protection as a simple example. The first thing we need to do is organize data from different sources into a logical structure. The Pi Asset Framework allows us to build a model of test areas containing a number of test points. Our test points have an upper and lower limit that we source from the asset management system and a potential value, which is the real-time measurement captured in a Pi point. Now we need to calculate the health of a test point. For this example, a test point's health is bad if potential is outside the upper and lower limit. We can use a simple formula data reference to tell us that. And we can count all the bad test points in the test area to give us a view of the test area's condition. Your asset management system should be the master of asset data. But the challenge is then synchronizing changes back to the Pi Asset Framework. It's important to minimize manual process because that's inefficient, unreliable, and prone to human error. Let's take a look at how the GTS Asset Data Synchronizer solves this problem. First, we're going to create a new cathodic protection test area in Maximo. Let's just go into Maximo and copy an existing test area to create a new test area 5. Then create a new test point and configure the upper and lower limits. And finally, assign the test point to the new test area 5. If we go back to the Pi System Explorer and refresh our cathodic protection model, we can see that we now have the new test area and test point. Without any manual intervention, we've updated our model, created a new Pi point, and a notification to provide a fully operational test area ready to start sending service requests to Maxima. Once we've determined our asset condition, we want to create a trigger when we know something needs attention. A Pi notification is the perfect tool for this because we can evaluate any number of conditions to make a decision no matter how complex. Our example uses the total number of bad test points in a test area and compares that with a set point. If the total reaches the limit, a notification is activated. Let's simulate some real-time data arriving for the new test point's potential tag that will cause it to be out of range. We're going to upload some data through Excel for that. If we refresh our model in the Pi System Explorer again, we can see that our out-of-range calculation has identified that the new value is outside the upper limit and our test point condition is bad. Our new test area is configured to trigger a notification if any test points are out of range, and we can see that we have a new notification on test area 5. A critical piece of our condition-based maintenance infrastructure is the integration between the Pi Asset Framework and the Asset Management System. When our condition evaluation tells us some attention is needed, we want to automatically send a service request to Maxima. There's a number of ways to do this. We're using the GTS Condition-Based Management plugin that provides a custom delivery channel into Maximo. So now, if we go back to Maximo and search for service request on our new test area 5, we can see that our integration has raised a new service request. This has been a simple example, but it shows that your OSI Soft Pi system has all the tools you need to collect or reference data, organize it into a logical model, Use it to calculate asset condition. Raise a trigger when attention is needed. Seamlessly synchronize your asset model between your OSI Soft Pi system and asset management system and integrate those systems to automatically get some attention where it's needed. You have the tools. All you need now is the vision.